Joining us now to review some of the headlines of today's newspapers from around the world is Arise News Analyst Emmanuel Ifeni. Good morning, Emmanuel. Good morning, Ruben. Good, Good morning. morning. Good morning, Tundu. We start with this day in newspapers. The lead story, Oshimbajo, ministers self-isolate as Kiari Mohammed test positive. Buhari not infected. COVID-19 tally rises to 44, but as we speak, it's now 46. Spreads to six states. Relief as ventilators, test kits arrive Nigeria. Someone who closes non-essential markets, banks, National Assembly shuts down, NMPC tells staff to work from home. Yes, then if we just look at uh, how some other newspapers are reporting this story. The Daily Trust, before testing positive for COVID-19, carry mingled with governor's minister's orders. That's according to the Daily Trust. His engagement in 10 days. Oshimbajo in self-isolation, plan to isolate key functionaries underway. Of course, you can see some of the photographs uh, of uh, Abakiari in... Uh, the front page of the Daily Trust, some of the persons he met within that uh, 10 days. Why the Daily Independent newspaper, Abakiari's COVID-19 status unsettles presidency, presidential tax force storms as rock amidst fear, NCDC to move president's chief of staff to Lagos. Three Abakiari's aides test positive. UK, US envoys, others go into self-isolation. Test governors, ministers, others who visited Kiari, that's according to CUPP, presidency cuts number of journalists covering the villa. Yes, Ruben, you gave a new terminology to the, coro the coronavirus uh, lexicon when you said the Asso Rock is not the institutional epicenter of coronavirus in Nigeria, <laughs> quoting Ruben Abati, <laughs> Dr. Ruben Abati. Well, I think the point to be made is that, look, I mean, the uh, presidential villa is a national security space. If that space is under any threat, it's a national security issue, which must be taken seriously, beyond the fact that we are all affected, okay? Uh, and I think that the right steps should be taken. The chief of staff of the uh, president, having tested positive, I mean, the office of the chief of staff is the engine room, actually, of the uh, presidential villa, not necessarily the office of the permanent secretary of the villa. And so these are very serious implications. You were quoting one newspaper, I think, uh, the Daily, Daily Trust, Trust yes. Daily Trust, which gave an indication yes. of the activities that the uh, chief of staff has been involved in. Yes. Since he came back from Germany, it's on record that he has met with at least 16 governors from different states of the Federation. Now, coronavirus does not make a distinction between PDP and APC. All those governors, whether they are PDP or APC, will need to be quarantined. All ministers of the federal government must have at one point or the other had contact with the chief of staff. They should go into quarantine, right? Um, the vice president, he is already in uh, what they call uh, self-isolation. Self the security people around the, uh, the chief of staff at any particular time. They all need to go into quarantine. Nobody has talked about them. But you can imagine that you will have a, around them both security and police uh, details, you know, uh, by virtue of the importance of his uh, office. And in fact, look, everybody in the presidential villa should go for testing. Yes, according to the Daily Independent, three Abakiaris is test positive. Okay. So, yeah, but that's the office of the chief of staff. But every other person around this place. You know how important the chief of staff is? When he steps out, out of his office, people are lining up and everybody is saying, Rankadede, Rankadede, sir, Rankadede, sir. And if the big man coughs, who are you to, to say anything other than to say, oh, bless you, sir. This is awful. And then so, you collect your own share of the so if, it is a, awful. According to reporters, he, he met with uh, so many governors. Yes. And those governors have come back to their state. Okay. So I can see the genuineness of your description of Asso Rock being the epicenter 
Yes, because but at the end there, of the day, the those guys point, are going to their states. Yes, to spread it to other people. The point has to be made. All of this could have been avoided if only people had just adhered to the rules. Dr. He Kriazu, when he came back from China, yes. he did what? He quarantined himself, as you ought to do. None of this. This is completely unnecessary. And let us make an additional point. I mean, in serious countries, by now, you know, the whole of that presidential villa will have been disinfected, will have been sanitized. We have not seen pictures to that effect. We have not seen any information to that effect. But what was the basis of the visit we saw yesterday by... Um, a group of uh, ministers and all that to... No, that to was the presidential task force. Task force. And we had condemned that earlier. Yes. Uh, if, you know, the story out there is that they went to visit the chief of staff. Now, if they were going to visit him, was he, was he still in his office in the villa? It doesn't make sense. We will need some clarification. What's the basis of that visit? Exactly. Yes. Why on earth would you to visit him? To go and do what? And all of them are wearing uh, uh, face masks. They, they are commingling. You know, they added themselves yeah. into one bus. I, I understand that the, uh, the bus, you know, all the windows were up and air conditioned, just circulating, possibly spreading uh, the virus further among themselves. So this is a case of uh, the leaders not showing good examples so of the rest of we, we, Nigeria. We, we need clarification because we don't know who they went to see. So if the story out there is that they went to visit the chief of staff, that cannot be correct. Okay, let's look at some other newspapers. The Daily Sun newspaper lead story, Buhari approves of... No, that's not the lead, the lead story as Nigeria's case rise to 44. Cases rise to 44 with four new ones. Panic as COVID-19 lands in Aso Rock. President top eight, three others test positive. Bauchi governor also, Buhari test negative. Ushibayo in self isolation. But beside the masthead of the Daily Sun, lockdown, lockdown in Enugu, in Lagos, Enugu Rivers, others. Markets, offices, business centers, short. Weddings, religious burials, sports activities, ban. Well, we are coming uh, close to total lockdown gradually. And I think it's something that recommends itself. It certainly does. Yes. And uh, most uh, churches, perhaps, we have to even review the 25-person, uh, whatever, congregation, and let everybody sit at home. Because we, we cannot afford... We are afford... not planning to go to a church this Sunday. We have already given directive. There will be a, a virtual service from the headquarters. And well, we'll good for you. And we'll all hook onto that from wherever we are. Good for you. Yes. We well, cannot yeah, afford uh, any uh, kind uh, of escalation. Arrangements have also been made to collect the <laughs> tithes electronically. I would like to... Ruben, you are interested in tithes. <laughs> if you like tithes, go and be a pastor and collect yours. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> well, the Guardian newspapers, 16 governors, service chief at risk after meeting Kiari. So... Still the same story. Panic as new strain of virus claims li claims life in China. And that's another scary one. But that's an entirely different virus, yes. Yes, and, but I uh, just hope uh, this another this not another uh, uh, virus just ready to spread. Well, it's an uh, antivirus, yes. it is called. You know, and the story was published yesterday, creating some panic. And people that motivated people to start making some comments about China, you know, uh, comments that you may consider racist or xenophobic, uh, because it was reported that one particular person died as a result of antivirus. Now, like coronavirus, antivirus is also not new. It was first isolated in 1976, you know, and it's named after the Anta River, which is in South Korea, which was the first place where it uh, manifested. And now again, you know, people are saying, ah, from China again, another it's virus. Another, it's another zoonotic disease. <laughs> yes. Why so, is this, animals, this the, pathogen, this from rats, yes? Yes, this pathogen is uh, associated with uh, rodents. You know, when you have contact with the first feces or the uh, urine of uh, rodents. Yes. But the good news about antivirus is that, you know, except you have really direct contact, it's not as contagious as, as uh, uh, coronavirus. coronavirus. But, I, I mean, for... Mankind to hear again that another virus is, is on, the, uh, on, the, on the road, you know, um, maybe a, a new strain 
of uh, the virus, like uh, coronavirus. That's very frightening. The Chinese government really needs to look into measures to really control human-animal relations. <laughs> How else can I put it? In China, have you seen some of the scenes of their markets? They have to shut those markets down at this point. Yes, well, they seem to have a large appetite for wild animals. And um, we don't know whether this they, is where they have to change. Eat bush meat in Nigeria. No, they don't yes. have to change the way they approach these things. This is not worth it. Well, can we dictate... Or revise no, people the in culture Nigeria. of another set of people. No, but uh, culture, no, they need to if introspect. Culture, yes, if your culture is getting if, you killed, if you have eaten rats all your will, life or snakes, no, but then there must monkeys. be like a more hygienic so way. So you come and tell me, oh, it's not good to eat rats. Yeah, but maybe no, in a more hygienic many way. Many Nigerians abandoned bush meat and grass quarters after the Ebola. This, oh, they do. Yes, good. many Nigerians. Because for me, culture that cannot get you menu killed. Table. Cultures have to be, you know, refined as we go along. Yes, yeah, it's you getting know, this ridiculous. Thing is about taste. Some people like to eat snakes, rats, you know, bats, frogs, monkeys, frogs. <laughs> they, they should try chicken. <laughs> Exotic uh, animals. Now let's so, look at the punch in this point is that uh, China needs a nutrition revolution. Absolutely, it's, it's, it's ridiculous. Correct. <laughs> Now, um, of course, the lead story fears grip ministers, governors, villa guests as carry AIDS test positive. But above the masthead, varsity lecturers union attack ASU over strike. Yes, the ASU strike is on, but who feels it? The students are at home anyway. Yes, everything is <laughs> shut down. But I hope um, between the uh, ministers in charge, education, labor, they should be able to find um, some midway into resolving these issues before this uh, corona breeze blows past and students uh, have to go back to the university so that students don't suffer after closure for coronavirus. They now start having another long stay at home because of lecture That would be really unfair. And I just note that ASU is not only talking about IPs, uh, yes. the payroll payment system, He's also talking about the Memorandum of Understanding that is signed with the federal government. Since 2009. And which government has refused to follow. Yeah. If we'll you... take a short break, well... Mr. Fanny. We'll be back with more. Okay. <laughs> Welcome back to the morning show here on Arise News. Still with us in our Lagos studio is Arise News analyst Emmanuel Fanny, who has been reviewing some of the headlines of today's newspapers from around the world. Come on. Well, we, uh, we're just talking about uh, the lecturers on, on strike. We're talking about their expanded demands. But I can tell you, if you pay them their sal salary without their enrolling in the IPPIS, they will go back to work, Ruben. Well, I was you're saying that the uh, university teachers are more concerned about money. That is the crux of the matter for no, them. No, but they are right concerned now. about standards. They are concerned about research. They're concerned about government respecting agreements. So I don't think it's about money. Or you think that they are bringing up the, uh, the agreement with the federal government that is just what, to put a fine face that on is exactly the what objection I'm saying. That's to the exactly uh, what I'm saying. IPs. Because they embarked on the so-called warning strike the moment they did not receive their February salary. That's when they embarked on that strike and uprooted all the outstanding issues to back up their... their they are, they are the basis of their strike. So if you put them, if they, if they go back to, if you pay them their salary, salary right now, uh, I'm sure they will, they will reconsider. But their own attitude of claiming that they have a software ready, where is the software? The government bent backwards. And they are now saying they need 18 months to develop, to, to test before deployment. So what are you talking about? Well, you know, at the end of the day, when the universities uh, remain short, uh, well, it may be convenient in a time of a coronavirus, uh, but if they remain short much longer, um, it's parents and students yes. who bear the brunt. And the yes. image of the university system in Nigeria across the world taking another uh, serious beating. The students don't stay in school long enough. When they resume, teachers just rush them, write exams and award degrees. That's the image they create. So these university lecturers should also be concerned about that image instead of embarking on this prolonged strike, which has become a, a, a normal thing for our lecturers. 
Yeah, almost uh, self-fulfilling, yes. almost predictive. Now, the Vanguard newspaper, um, lead story still the same, coronavirus widespread fear as Kiari Bauchi governor test positive. But let's look at another sad story, Ruben. Beneath the mast, uh, beneath the photograph, 50 soldiers killed in Boko Haram ambush. Well, the army headquarters said 47. 47 soldiers killed in Georgie Village in Borono State. To lose 47 soldiers in one fell swoop for any army, that is a real calamity. It truly is. And uh, the president, if you look at uh, the front page of this day, Buhari laments soldiers' death. As usual, he has expressed profound grief and sorrow over the death of these soldiers well, who were ambushed. All that of this village. just shows how perilous these times have become. I mean, we've been talking about coronavirus all day, only to uh, be starkly reminded of the fact that we still have security problems. Yes. You know, we had uh, expressed some, uh, you know, uh, relief when uh, it was said that the uh, Islamic State had said during, in the face of coronavirus, his fighters should not kill anybody. But apparently here in Nigeria, you know, uh, that uh, problem remains and persists. And the killing of these soldiers is just another reminder that while we are facing the war against coronavirus, we should not uh, take our attention away from the way war against uh, terrorists who do not uh, want us all to live uh, uh, peacefully. Yeah. And we must commiserate with the families yes. of the affected soldiers, whether the figure is 47 or 50, 50. even if it is one soldier that loses his life. That's, uh, you know, making the ultimate sacrifice so that uh, Nigeria, the sovereignty of Nigeria, uh, can remain uh, intact. And yes. we hope that the military authorities will do the needful in terms of contacting their families and, you know, providing whatever help uh, that they are entitled to. Really sad. Yes. Soldiers are making a lot of sacrifices. Yes. It's, it's it's very sad. Another sad day in the fight against uh, insurgency, terrorism, whatever terminology you want to use. But let's move on to the foreign newspapers. In the UK, the Times called for army of volunteers. 250,000 people needed to help NHS. Virus that hit 42, 422 after biggest rise yet. Criminal record if lockdown is flouted. Whoever flouts the, uh, the lockdown. <laughs> Name is, name is likely to go in, down into criminal record. But this recruitment uh, of a quarter of a million people, basically these people are needed to help the NHS to take care of those people who have been asked to remain at home, or those elderly ones, to attend to them in this period of uh, lockdown in the UK. But that recruitment is under threat. If you read the Guardian newspaper, Doctors and nurses in threat to quit over safety. Concerned school undermine huge NHS recruitment drive. Their toll in the UK rises sharply as another 87 people died. Number 10, under fire for giving uh, unclear advice as some still defy lockdown. Of course, the uh, the chair of the Doctors' uh, Association in the UK, Dr. Ranish uh, Pama, has said that, well, if they are not being given enough safety kits, then the attempt to recruit more soldiers, uh, more persons into the NHS may just be, um, may just be um, um, a futile effort. Yes, because there are really disturbing reports about medical officials having to reuse gloves. Can you imagine? How unthinkable. Well, I mean, that's in the UK where the uh, medical personnel are expressing concern. And that could be a source of discouragement for the 250,000 uh, volunteers that they are looking for for the NHS. But when you look at Nigeria here, if we may just bring it home to our own reality, you'll find that here, you know, our medical uh, officials... Who, the ones who are even working out in some of these isolation centers, do they have the necessary protective gears? The answer is no. 
when the Italian, the index case was being uh, discharged, I saw uh, some of the, uh, you know, nurses, some of the people around him in the world, you know, dressed like uh, it was supposed to be a, a, a wedding. And even the two of them who were protective uh, gears, I, I mean, it looked like uh, a party cloth. And, you know, if we have an escalation here, we'll be in very serious It'll trouble. It'll be a disaster. Now, in the UK, the plan, the plan is to call out, uh, you know, the police. The police, they are on the street to enforce the lockdown. The uh, soldiers are also already assisting. But the Metropolitan Police made one point. They said that, look, they will use persuasion rather than high-handedness. And I think that's very important because if Nigeria gets to a point where the police and the military are called out to help in this war against coronavirus, very you ugly. may find the police or the task forces that are already going around. I hope they will go around on Sunday uh, this week also. You know, they must follow necessary protocols and ensure that they are not high-handed. We already have enough problems with police brutality. Yes, because this is a national health crisis. Yes. It's not a normal policing. Yes. It's just helping to ensure that people do not commit suicide or, or, or commit a homicide. I, I, I think the Inspector General of Police should take note. The Chief of Army clear. Staff should take note, if we get to that point. Yes, if we may just look at the front page of the Daily Trust. The photographs were seen there, uh, amongst uh, others. You see the governor of... Um, Kogi State, Yaya Bello, shaking hands with the um, chief of staff, Abakiari. And I think the report just coming in says that um, Yaya Bello of Kogi State tests positive to the coronavirus. Uh, but let's hope that uh, that will be uh, confirmed later. Yes. Um, yes, he had contact with the uh, chief of staff who went to visit him to commiserate with him over the uh, death of his uh, mother. And, uh, you know, many other persons and around that hands, also had uh, contact uh, with the chief of staff. But, of course, the uh, governor of uh, Kogi State himself must necessarily also go into self-isolation. And so should his immediate aides, his family. This is, we need to stress, we cannot overstress. Self-isolation, once you come off the plane, it's just 14 days. All of this could have been avoided. Yes. Well, if we just go to America... Well, the business newspapers, perhaps some good news coming out in the wake of this uh, coronavirus. Wall Street Journal, Dow Soares, 11 percent, best day since uh, in 87 years. Yes, the rally fueled by hope that uh, lawmakers uh, will be able to come up with yeah, a deal. The yes. Thank no, they, you, Mr. We've already Fennel. agreed on a deal. Yes, finally. finally. We've run out of time. Thank you Mitch so much. Mitch McConnell says now we have a deal. Yeah. Thank you very Good much. News.